how to merge two smaller hard drives into one larger hard drive. So I have two drives here, SSD Kingston and SSD Lighton. Both of them are 120 gigabytes in size. So I want to merge these two drives and it will be 240 something gigabyte. To do that, go here to this PC, right click on it and manage. By the way, they also have a little bit of content, a test file 1 and a test file 2. Then go here to disk management and on disk management we can see that that's the first drive and that's the second drive, SSD Kingston and SSD Lighton. The content of one of these drives has to be deleted. So let's say I want to delete this one, right click on it and delete volume. So if case you have some content on that drive, you have to back it up, move it to a different drive. Okay, so delete volume. I'm deleting this one, the light on. Okay, so now it's unallocated. And now go to the second drive that you want to extend. Right click on that one and extend the volume extend the volume and this appears click on next add the first disk which is disk 0 this 0 is visible here so we are adding to disk 1 disk 0 add it to the list and it will be a 230 gigabyte drive next by the way both of them are basic disks after conversion they will be dynamic disks so click finish you will not be able to boot your windows from those hard drives so my windows is on this drive which is the third in this list so i'm merging those two yes to continue now they are dynamic both of them and they have the same trial letter both of them are drive d you see this purple color here that is a spanned volume so the content of one is starting and it's not ending there but it's continuing on the other disk and if we go back here it has the name of just one drive and if you go to properties it's a 248 gigabyte drive. So two hard drives, two SSDs were merged into one single drive and the content of one of those hard drives is intact. So it is here, it was not modified. So you need to use another empty disk or if it's not empty, you have to delete the entire volume from disk management and then you can extend it there also. Okay, now let's restart the computer and enter into another Windows. The computer is restarting. I exited from one Windows and now I will select another one. So before I was in this one, Windows 10 Workstation and now I'm entering Windows 10 Home Edition. So this is the second Windows. Let's open a file explorer and we can see that none of those hard drives are visible here. So let's go back to this PC and manage. After manage disk management. And here we have the two drives which were merged in the other windows. So right click on any of those and it has import foreign disks. So import foreign disk group two out of two disks. Click OK. It has one spanned volume and it is OK. And the size is 230 something gigabytes. OK. Now a drive appears. Both have the same drive letter. It's drive G. And if we go here, drive G is here. 230 something gigabytes. And the content is available. Now if you go back to the other windows, the first one, then you have to do the same thing. Right click on this PC, go to manage, disk management and once again you have to import the foreign disks. So let's do a test, let's enter this drive, create a new file, new, let's say, create a folder, let's call it test, let's create even a text file there created under windows home edition let's enter some text one two three four five close it and save it and this is windows 10 home edition now let's restart windows and enter the other one 
so computer is restarting now let's start the first operating system okay, now in this windows open a file explorer that drive is not visible again so go back to this pc and manage disk management again now these are the foreign disks right click on them and import foreign disks okay and okay now it's called drive d it's not g and drive d is available and the file and the folder is here so the data is intact so this is windows 10 professional and this file was created under the home edition of windows 10 and the content is there it's intact